all right welcome back peer structure traders for another market analysis for the london session and potentially into the u.s session today we'll be going over s p 500 gold and also oil give you guys some levels we'll be looking at here for the london session and again these levels will be able to hold up into the u.s session for those who like these videos please go ahead and smash that like button for those who are not subscribed to the channel yet please go ahead and subscribe if you guys have any questions feel free to pop them in here on youtube we would love to get back to you guys but with that said guys let's go ahead and hop into it so for s p 500 we did have quite a bit of nice movement to the upside today we did stall somewhere around these 4205 25s as resistance and you can see we're still kind of holding that so what are we looking for on s p honestly i'm still looking for a continued bullish run two areas that i'm looking for support well actually three we may find a very micro area here or minor level 9850 now if you don't want to use that area Look for the market to come down to these 41.93.25s and then find the, find the bounce up from there. If not that, then you're going to be looking on top of these 42.05.25s and then a continuation to our measured move of 42.29.75 as a measured move to the upside. Below these 41.93.25s, going to look for support right around 41.82.50 and then below that 41. 66.75 underneath 66.75 we are going to look at 41.42.25 uh, let's take a look at a smaller chart here real quick on s p give you guys a little bit of a closer view for this all right so even on this smaller chart you can see finding that level of resistance that we see here at 42.05.25 for s p 500 again we want to see if we want to short this we're going to want to see the market come right into this area reject that area maybe a nice double top here and then fall right back down again strongly bullish so if you want to trade with the trend your best opportunity is to wait for the market to get down here at 41.93.25 find that support or again you could use this mid level right here right around these 42 hundreds to about 41.98 as support two for a continued move back to the upside other than that trend trading you got to get on top of 42.05.25 as a love and use it as an area of support maybe a couple bounces here and then get a continuation of move to our extended point of uh 42.29.75 uh that is going to be it for s p let's go ahead and take a look at gold here real quickly again sp doesn't got too much but again underneath those 41.93.25s look out for support at 41.82.50 as support underneath let's take a look at gold here real quickly you can see for gold did have some nice movement to the upside a little bit 1885.6 was our level of resistance we had a level above that 1890.4 but we didn't necessarily get there we were ranging for the most part of the day uh, 1877 was around our level of support and then uh, below that we had level of 1874.1 below that support comes at 1870.1 as well so we'll see what the market tries to give us if we continue to hold the support here at these 1877s we are going to look for the market to try to pull up to our resistance again at 1885.6 if we reject that level that's going to be a nice opportunity for shorts we may stay within this range and just keep bouncing between these levels here so there are going to be those opportunities to support at 77 and then 74.1 for the longs and then resistance for the shorts 85.6 and potentially even 1890.4 if we get this push right through and then get that rejection off this level let's take a look on gold at a smaller chart here real quickly give you guys some ideas of what's going on on the smaller chart so as we pull that over you can see for gold again we are kind of right in the middle better to allow this to pull back down here and then get the bounce if we get the rotational support look for a continued move into 84 then 85.6 and then from there take some profit then look for maybe some rejection if we just get a move through that's going to be easy head up to those 1890.4s is the next level but if you get that rejection look out for a nice pullback and a continuation back down into right around these 79s where we're currently at and then the support at 77 below 77 74.1 and then below that 70.1 65.2 uh, but for now, we'll see if we stall here at 85.6 or head up into those 1890.4s for gold. Let's go ahead and take a look here on 
oil as well take a look at what we got here sitting on oil pull this over for you guys so for oil you can see we had another just kind of similar to s p had a nice move to the upside 66 22 as the level of resistance right now so gonna see if the market can actually pull us back down into these 65 85s if it can maybe look for a bounce and continuation strong bullish move that we got going on so you want to trade with the trend your supports are right here underneath that i'm probably looking for this thing to head to two areas here either these 65 28s or all the way back down here at 64 91 see if the market can catch the support here and if we get that support there, then look for a continuational move back to the upside for the bullish run again. Now, if we get that bounce and we fail right here at the 65.85s, this may be a good opportunity to continue the short back down into 64.91 and then potentially down into 64.20 for that support bounce from here now underneath 64 20 63 84 63 41 and 63 12 as the levels of support underneath again resistance right now 66 22 above that 66 95 let's go ahead and take a look at a smaller chart here on oil for you guys as well so you can see a couple rotations that we got here on oil I do think maybe we may end up moving down from here. So we got one rejection, two rejections, three rejections. Maybe get this opportunity to try to pull it down into these 66s and then 65.85 as that first area of interesting support. If we could see that, we may range between this level. So keep that in mind. But if you want to continue up, try to push that level, see if that pullback holds this area and continues to our next level of 66. 95 if none of that happens and we go into a range uh, we may bounce between this level find that support at 65 85 and if you get that you can get that bounce of support there now if the price gets up or well, underneath this actually this is where you want to look for that rejection for resistance and then a continuational move to the downside so a lot of opportunity on s p 500 gold and also oil so we're going to be patient wait this out to see if the market uh, comes into our levels and if it does by the time we get into the London session we'll have some opportunities to trade but other than that guys if you guys like these videos please go ahead and smash that like button if you are not subscribed to the channel yet please go ahead and subscribe for those who are thank you guys very much any questions you guys have feel free to pop them in here on YouTube we would love to get back to you guys other than that guys you guys take care have a good night if you guys are going to trade and part of PST um we will see you guys in the london session tonight hopefully you get some good opportunities if not and you guys continue to trade make sure you guys trade well have a great night take care bye